what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand all the decks and the cockpit and I'm going to sand them again and I'm probably going to do it one more time until I feel happy with them. Clean them all up, mask them off, um, having filled them and, and sanded those back. Mask it all off and apply Kiwi grip all over it. So you can see here the condition of the decks. So the blue is the original kind of colour really because all, all the other Copland Harriers I've seen and the uh, Fox Terriers have all got the light blue decks as well so that's obviously how they came out of the factory. Right guys, I've gone on a massive mission here. I've just got to take this out. But apart from that, every deck fitting is off the boat. And uh, I've already sanded this side, but look at it. It's gonna have to go over it again. But it's got the original molded gel coat grip, plus a couple of layers of uh, non-slip paint that I've put on there and a few chips. So I'm just basically trying to sand it all up. And uh, I'm gonna fill all these chips. And uh, so far I've sanded with 100 grit on a six inch orbital sander. I mean, I could go absolutely nuts on this boat, filling every crack. But my main goal really is to to get the decks painted and looking good. And then I just really need to start bedding everything back on, um, all the deck fittings back on. I do not want to spend weeks and weeks and weeks doing this. And ideally I would, I'd have it inside and I'd just do it properly, but I don't have the time. So if I can get the deck painted properly and all the deck fittings back on properly, the rest can be done later and I can go sailing, which is exactly what I want to be doing, especially if the sun's out which it is, I could be sailing today, but I'm not. So let's get this done and back together. And I'll just take a few little clips as I go. I'm not gonna do it as a big DIY rebuild project. There's enough of those about, but just to really keep you updated on the progress of uh, how I'm getting on with the lease. Um, and what's the date today? That's middle of February or 20th of February, is it? Yeah, 20th of February and I want to launch either end of March or beginning of April. I'm not putting 180 pounds worth of Kiwi grip down on top of this, that's for sure. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to sand this flat, even here, blue. Look, that's a, actually a paint. So it's a blue paint on top of, you got white on top of blue there, and you've got the blue on top of the white, which the white is the molded in gel coat this is my new buddy. So I decided to get the uh, belt sander out with 40 grit. I've only got 40 grit paper. So you just got 40 grit on there. And uh, I've just given it the beans all over. Probably took me about half an hour just to whiz over it all. And it's taken half of it off. Let's go and see what he's doing out there. Oi! What are you doing? raining you're supposed to be doing the decks why aren't you doing it okay it's not raining Hi. now get the decks done so we can go sailing all right do you know what sometimes i don't know why i bother he expects me to do all the deck sanding and all the deck painting and get all the deck fittings back on. But he's in there just messing about, doing nothing, while I'm out here trying to dodge the rain. I can't take the cover off because if it rains, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna damage all the decks. 
So uh, I started sanding the decks in the beginning of February, ready to put Kiwi grip on. And it's now 17th of April. So it's taken me that long to sand it. I've had to do like an hour a day because it's just soul destroying. But I've just done a sample bit, but I lent on it. So I've had to kind of try and smooth it out a bit, but I'll show you that. And I've just masked up and I'm just gonna smash on and get the Kiwi grip on because I want to go sailing. That's the bit I lent on there, but I'm quite happy with that. I was going to try and get her undercover, but that was just going to be such a mission. So I freestyled the, the radius and I just want to get it on now because I'm doing my head in. So I've masked it up and now I'm going to chuck it on. I'll try and get a clip of it. Walk me in the morning sun Tell me I'm the lucky one I'm Riding on the wave Of an ocean that I could be brave Is there anything good on the radio? Turn it up loud and let me know This has been a monumental mission and uh, I'm feeling pretty pleased about everything. I've managed to get the decks sanded after hours and hours of work, probably, I don't know, 25 hours of sanding. And I was down to um, an hour every couple of days to get the sanding done because I just couldn't face it, man. That was a horrendous job. Really don't want to do that again. And uh, it's only a 20 foot long boat as well. So it's a surprising amount of work. But anyway, I've got the all the deck fittings back on with butyl tape. But I'll just give you a, a quick um, look around the decks and show you what I've done. So as you can see, it's looking pretty tidy. It's got a few uh, bits of uh, debris on there from the leaves and stuff. But everything's back on. So the Genoa tracks, shroud plates, winches, clutches, mooring cleats. So I'm feeling proper chuffed about this. I've also, early spring, I've now installed AIS and a DSC VHF. And it all connects to the chart plotter, which is a really cool function. Having sailed across the North Sea last July and crossing the, the shipping lanes in the TSS without AIS was a bit nerve wracking. I've still got loads of cleats that I'm going to fit on all across here for all my control lines and this side as well. So it looks a bit bare, but actually it's going to have loads of bits of string coming back here. But overall, I'm so pleased that I've managed to get this Kiwi grip on. I had an awesome day with brilliant weather that I managed to get it all on and uh, then managed to get a tarpaulin over it in the evening to keep the, the water off. But this was a monumental task. There we have it. That was my experience of uh, prepping and applying Kiwi grip. Got a few more jobs to do and uh, be back on the water in no time. So uh, if you made it this far in the video, um, this weekend I'll be taking the boat down to the harbour, painting the keel and launching her. And then I'll be doing sea trials. And then in a few weeks time, I'm gonna do a 75 mile round trip, which will be uh, quite fun. I've just worked out my calendar for the year as well. So I've, I've got every uh, two weeks I'm plan planning to do a decent trip somewhere. And uh, I'm definitely gonna be crossing the North Sea again. 
So uh, if you've seen any of the other videos like crossing the North Sea in a trailer sailor, I'll be doing some hopefully better videos than that. And uh, if you want to stick around and see these videos in the future, then uh, please consider subscribing to my channel and uh, you can follow me on a few little adventures, which I can't wait to do. I'm so excited now. It's been an emotional process, but I've made it and I feel quite good about it. And uh, yeah, I've had a few arguments with myself along the way as well, put a lot of pressure on myself. Talk, talking myself into doing the job properly. But there we have it. 